A little cash and some careful investments in his garlic farm have meant a jump in production for Harant Lailailan. We started from 5 kilos and now reached 15 tons. 15 tons. We grew from year to year. We found out from the Shirak RCAD that fertilizer is available. We brought and tested it. And imagine, yield grew by 20 to 30 percent and about 80 percent of the disease is gone. It was a great help. The Rural Enterprise and Small Scale Commercial Agriculture Development Project in Armenia is helping farmers and entrepreneurs get the help they need to get their goods to market. The project, with assistance from the World Bank, offers access to information, credit and improved technologies. Anna hit Charaktan and her workers make rugs. They own the sheep and produce the yarn they need. The trouble here is that there is simply not enough demand. They mostly sell to brides in the village who use the rugs as their dowries. We have an awful lot of wool. Others try to sell us their wool, but we really don't need it unless we sell more of our product. This project has reached about 100,000 rural Armenians. It has improved living standards, incomes and access to markets for people in 141 villages across the country. The bees are a bit passive after the rain, but the nectar harvest is marvelous. The aroma is wonderful. At this beeswax factory, nowadays, market access extends beyond Armenia's borders. There used to be a monopoly, not anymore. Because of the project, we have had several orders from Ukraine for similar equipment. About one half of the jobs in Armenia are in agriculture, which makes up 20 percent of the country's GDP. So an improvement in yields, storage and transport has an impact on the whole country.